Good day everyone. This presentation is the study on the removal of iron from synthetic wastewater using sawdust and rice husk as a filter media by Manimuri R and Deepapriya M under the guidance of Mrs. A. R. Akila Devi, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Vale Tech, Chennai. Let us start with the introduction first. The iron occurs mainly as magnetite, hematite, geotite, limonite or cedarite. At present in India, about 99% of iron ore is produced by Karnataka, Orissa, Chhattisgarh, Goa and Jharkhand. Study states that due to the presence of iron ores in rural areas of those states has high content of iron of about 10 mg per litre. But according to Indian Standard Code, the concentration of iron in drinking water should not exceed 0.3 mg per litre. Excess iron intake causes chronic iron overload results primarily from a genetic disorder characterized by increased iron absorption. Heavy growth of iron bacteria forms a gelatinous mass that attack ferric hydroxide and clog the pipes and plumbing fixtures. This figure shows the effect of excess iron in water passes through the pipe. This study focuses on the removal of iron from the groundwater using locally available adsorbent materials like sawdust, rice husk and limestone. Objectives To check the suitability of mixed sawdust and rice husk filter media and to determine the optimum working condition of filter media for the effective removal of iron from synthetic wastewater. To compare the removal of iron using sawdust filter media and rice husk filter media with mixed sawdust and rice husk filter media at different proportions. Need for study. The excess iron content in drinking water causes disorders in human genetic metabolism. The water contaminated of iron causes stain in cloths and clog in pipes. So the iron content in the water must be reduced to Indian standard level 0.3 mg per liter. Places like Orissa, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Bihar and Rajasthan has high contamination of iron due to the presence of iron ores up to 10 mg per liter. These iron ores are taken in rural areas where the people cannot afford for costly filtering equipment. So the step has been taken to provide low cost filter media using locally available sawdust and rice husk. Literature review. Pregdi et al. studies uses of sawdust as an economical absorbent material for the removal of zinc from the synthetic wastewater. Laurus et al. studied experimentally about sawdust as an absorbent material after carbonization for the removal of phenol from industrial wastewaters for a safe disposal. Adiri studied removal of direct blue dye stuff an organic pollutant from the wastewater effluents of textile industry by adsorption. Bullet Esmin studied the uses of sawdust of walnut for the effective removal of heavy metals. Gunvir et al. studied the removal of fluoride from groundwater by aluminum hydroxide coated rice husk ash. Shao studied rice husk as the sole carbon source as well as biofilm carrier in the biological denitrification of wastewater in upflow laboratory reactors. Asmita examined research papers that have been carried out by various investigators before with various low cost water treatment methods suitable in rural areas such as developing low cost fil water filters by using different filter media and different filter layers. Graze et al. examine the utilization of waste products from three sectors such as industry, agriculture, construction and demolition in filters for the removal of contaminants from water. G. Sanpriya studied the distribution of iron content in and around Bhuneshwar city. Bhagirathi Behra studied regarding the pollution of groundwater in Jagadalpur. Let us come to the summary. Sawdust is capable of 
removing heavy metals at the dosage of 0.5 gram per 100 ml of sample by adsorption process sawdust is capable of removal of phenols after carbonization rice husk is capable of removal of copper when it is modified by tartaric acid phosphate treat, treated rice husk is capable of removing cadmium from wastewater limestone removes iron from the leachate synthetic wastewater can be prepared from dissolving 3.57 gram of ferric sulfate in 1 liter of water let us go to materials and methodology the figure shows the methodology chart the first step is preparation of synthetic wastewater followed by setting up of filter media before setting up of filter media the materials used for filter has to be pre treated then the filtration process has been done and effluent was collected and effluent was tested using spectrophotometer then finally results and discussions were made preparation of synthetic wastewater synthetic wastewater can be prepared by dissolving 3.5713 g of ferric sulfate in 1 liter of water to get 1000 ppm of iron solution pre treatment of limestone the aggregates retained in 16 mm sieve and passed in 20 mm sieve are taken and they are washed and woven dried at 60 degree per hour pre treatment of sawdust the sawdust is sieved in 2 mm sieve and washed using water until the color of washed water is normal then the sawdust is dried under sun for 3 days and then it is used as a filter media pre treatment of rice husk The rice husk was washed and dried under sun for three days before using in filter media. Setting up of filter, the filter tube was fabricated using plastic sheet of three mm thickness, of height sixty centimeter and diameter one fifty mm. The sand layer was laid on the top for five centimeter. Then the next layer was limestone laid for ten centimeter. The middle layer. was made for 30 cm containing the mixture of sawdust and rice husk at different proportions the final layer was again limestone laid for 10 cm this figure shows clearly the setup of filter where the bottom layer is of limestone of 10 cm and the middle layer is of mixture of sawdust and rice husk at different proportions uh, its thickness is 30 cm then the top layer is of 10 cm limestone aggregate then finally the layer uh, the layer of sand layer of 5 cm has been put filtration process and collection of effluent the filtration process was carried out at two different surface loading rates they are 1.715 m3 per m2 per hour and 1.357 m3 per m2 per hour surface loading rate was changed according to the sizes of uh, influent hole the effluent was collected after every trial of a proportion at two different surface loading rates testing of effluent the collection of effluent was tested using spectrophotometer of wavelength 508 nanometer results and discussions the initial and final concentration of fine content can be determined by calibration curve and the percentage removal of iron can be determined using the formula percentage removal is equal to c1 minus c2 divided by c1 into 100 where c1 is initial concentration c2 is final concentration following table 1 denotes the initial and final concentration of iron at proportion 1 is to 1 denoting sawdust is to rice husk so this uh, SLR one. The initial concentration is thirty one ppm. Final concentration is twenty six ppm, and the percentage removal is of sixteen percentage. In SLR two, initial concentration is thirty one ppm. Final concentration is twenty point eight ppm, and percentage removal is thirty two point nine percentage. The following table denotes the initial and final concentration of iron at proportion one is to one point five, denoting sawdust is to rice husk. SLR one, the initial concentration is thirty one ppm. Final concentration is twelve point eight ppm, and percentage removal is fifty eight point seven percentage. At SLR two, 
1.357 meter cube per meter square per hour. The initial concentration is 31 ppm. Final concentration is 6 ppm. And percentage removal is 80.64 percentage. Then the second table denotes the initial and final concentration of iron at proportion 1 is to 2 denoting sawdust is to rises. At this SLR1 initial concentration is 30 ppm, final concentration is 20.6 ppm, percentage removal is 31.33 percentage. And at SLR2 the initial concentration is again 30 ppm, final concentration is 7.2 ppm and percentage removal is 76 percentage. Then here in this slide the first table shows the initial and final concentration of iron at proportion 1.5 is to 1 denoting sawdust is to rise us. At SLR1 initial concentration is 29 ppm, final concentration is 23.6 ppm and percentage removal is 18.62 percentage. And at SLR2 the initial concentration is 29 ppm, final concentration is uh, 18 ppm and percentage removal of iron is 37.93 ppm. Following Table 5 denotes the initial and final concentration of iron at 2 is to 1 denoting sawdust is to rise husk. Here at SLR1 the initial concentration is 27 ppm, final concentration is 24.6 ppm, percentage removal is 8.88 percentage. And at SLR2 initial concentration is 27 ppm, final concentration is 20.2 ppm and percentage removal of iron is 25.85 percentage. The following table denotes the initial and final concentration of iron using 1D sawdust as filter media. At SLR1 that is 1.715 meter cube per meter square per hour, initial concentration is 31 ppm, final concentration is 27 ppm, percentage removal is 13.33 percentage. And at SLR2 initial is uh, the same 31 ppm and final is 29.7 ppm. So the percentage removal is 10.64 percentage. Then the second table shows the initial and final concentration of iron for using only rice husk as filter media. At SLR1 initial is same 31 ppm, final is uh, 25.2 ppm, percentage removal is about 21.25 percentage. And at SLR2 the initial is same uh, 31 ppm, final is 24.8 ppm and percentage removal is 22.5 percentage. The following graph shows the variation in percentage removal of iron under surface loading rate 1. So here it shows that at ratio 1 is to 1.5 there is a high removal of iron of about 58 percentage. This graph shows the variation in percentage removal of iron under surface loading rate 1.357 meter cube per meter square per hour. So uh, in this graph it is clear that at ratio 1 is to 1.5 the percentage removal of iron is about 80.6 percentage. So from these two graphs we can infer that uh, the percentage of removal of iron increases with uh, re reducing surface loading rate. So here the comparison is made using sawdust filter media, rice filter media and mixed sawdust and rice filter media one at ratio 1 is to 1.5 for SLR1. It shows that there is a high percentage removal of iron when it is mixed uh, as 1 is to 1.5 is 58 percentage. This graph denotes a comparison on percentage removal of iron by using sawdust rice and mixture of rice and sawdust filter media at SLR of 1.357 meter cube per meter square per hour. This is very clear that at a mixer proportion uh, the high percentage removal of iron can be obtained as 80.64 percentage. So from these two graphs we can infer that rice husk plays a major role on removal of iron than sawdust. Conclusion Removal of iron was very successfully observed with adsorbent materials sawdust and rice husk which makes the treatment of iron even possible in rural areas near iron ore mining where there is high concentration of iron. The experiment was initially done by varying proportions of sawdust and rice husk. The results showed that there is about 80.64 removal of iron when the sawdust and rice husk are mixed at the ratio 1 is to 1.5 at surface loading rate 1.357 meter cube per meter square per hour. Then the comparison is made by conducting the filtration by using materials separately without mixing. Finally, resulted that 
Mixing of materials yields high removal efficiency than using separate beam. References. Thank you.